Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a get ready with me, which I have not done in a long time because let's be honest, we haven't really been going out and I haven't really needed to get ready <laughs> in a really long time, but I am going to the strip and I am uh, going out for just a quick bite. I just, I just needed a change of pace. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. And this video is sponsored by High Mirror. High Mirror is a mirror that I actually hauled a couple hauls ago at this point. And I was so impressed with this little gadget that I actually reached out to them and they wanted to sponsor a video of mine. So I just wanted to show you quickly some of its uh, features and the features that I really like and the features that I really use this mirror for. So this mirror came nicely packaged in a, like a really sturdy box, which was great. So it is great as just a stand mirror. It's very light, it's very, very portable. Uh, but what you can do is actually open up this mirror and it becomes a, a very, very cool gadget. So on the back of this mirror, there is um, a power button. So I'm holding down the power button and it lights up. It lets you know that it's all powered on. And just so you know, this mirror does need to be plugged in. So if you wanna use the lights or if you wanna use the panel on the left-hand side, it does need to be plugged in. If you're just using it for the mirror, obviously you don't need to plug it in. So once you have the mirror expanded, it's plugged in, it's turned on, um, you do need to set it up for the very first time. And it just kind of goes through like your name, your location. You have to hook it up to Wi-Fi if you wanna use a lot of its capabilities. Uh, capabilities that are super cool. So uh, once you've set it up for the first time, what you can do then is just simply log in. So you just hit the little login uh, button on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And this whole screen is touch screen. So once I hit the login, it just logs me in. It says, hi, Michelle. It knows my location. It gives me the weather, which I think is so great. And then along the bottom of the screen, you'll see a bunch of buttons or like apps and they have something called a skin analyzer, which I think is so cool. So what it does is it takes a picture of your face and you just kind of have to like line up your face to the camera, which is at the top. And it takes a picture of your face and it analyzes your skin. It tells you uh, the size of your pores. It tells you uh, dryness. It tells you like things like patchiness. And what it does is it saves that information. And then like the next day, let's say you use a skin analyzer again, or the next week you use it again. What it does is it compares it. So it'll tell you if your skin is improving. I think it's a lot of fun. It's like the one thing I start with when I open up the mirror. I just think it's really cool. And then they also have something called a beauty box, which is very, very handy. Handy. So what you can do is actually scan in your makeup. It reads the UPC code along the box or along the actual product. It scans it in and recognizes it. And what it does is it enters it into your quote unquote beauty box. And you can enter in the day that you think it's going to expire. So I think the beauty box function is really cool. And I've also been using, they have a YouTube app on here. So you can actually log into your YouTube and it'll show you like your actual YouTube. So it'll show you like your subscriptions, your recommended uh, videos on the homepage, and you can watch YouTube. YouTube as you're putting your makeup on. I love it. I mean, I usually have to like prop my phone up. My phone is never fully charged and I sit there and I prop it up and I play YouTube as I'm getting ready. I'm draining the battery. It's always falling down because I, I don't have a proper stand for it. So that little YouTube app and me being able to just access YouTube on this panel while I'm getting ready has been such a treat. I just love it so much. And what I will do and what this mirror can do is you can watch YouTube like landscape style. So you can basically flip the mirror on its side. So the mirror is on top and the screen is at the bottom. So now the mirror actually is at a higher height if you need it. And you can watch uh, like YouTube in landscape, which I absolutely love. And then on the back, there is actually a little lock to kind of lock the mirror in its open position so the mirror won't like fall down when you have it in this position. And you can also like turn that back stand. So the flat part is at the bottom when you have it landscape style. So I've really been enjoying this guy. I can sit there and watch YouTube. It also has Spotify in there if you wanna like listen to music when you're getting ready. I think it's so, so handy because I'm always using my phone. And let me tell you, my phone is always not <laughs> fully charged and I end up draining it when and, you know, I'm getting ready and like wanting to watch YouTube or listen to Spotify or whatever. So this little guy has been really awesome. So a huge thank you to High Mirror for sponsoring this video. All right, so on to the get ready with me. I have uh, some new things that I've been wanting to try. So I thought I would try them with you. Uh, this Laura Geller 
Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation. They sent this over to me and it's like a very lightweight foundation, which is, as you guys know, perfect for me. So I really wanted to give this a try. I've never tried any Laura Geller foundations, so I'm very curious. And I also wanted to try these new shades from, well, one new shade. <laughs> Probably won't put on more than one blush shade. Um, one of these new shades from M Cosmetics, uh, they came out with four new shades of their color drop blush serum. I always get the words mixed up. So I really wanted to try this little lilac shade. This was the one that I was most curious about. So I pulled this one out. Um, I also purchased the new Hermes limited edition lipsticks. So I thought maybe I would do lip swatches of all of these, figure out which one I wanted to, you know, stick with for tonight. I also have an eyebrow gel from Laura Mercier that they sent over to me. So I thought I would give that a shot also. Um, and I think that's it in terms of like new makeup. Of course, I'll be filling in the gaps with some other things that I have, uh, but let's go ahead and start with the Laura Geller foundation. So this is again, the Quench and Tint uh, foundation and they sent over the shade Light. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze some out back of my hand. And when I hauled this foundation and I did a quick swatch of it, it did seem very, very lightweight and it also seemed very cooling. So I'm very excited. Just gonna dab some on and I have my BK Beauty uh, 101 foundation brush here to use. I was thinking about using a sponge and I thought, uh, it's already so lightweight. Let me go ahead and use a brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in. Ooh, it's a really good shade match, that's for sure. And oh, I wasn't thinking, you know what? I'm not gonna blend this in because I wanna see how much coverage this has. And I feel like the only way to tell really is to kind of do a comparison. So I'm just gonna leave that <laughs> unblended, sorry. And just add a little bit more. Okay, the finish is lovely. The finish is, I wanna say, there's like a teensy bit of radiance there. It looks really healthy and nice. It doesn't look oily or anything like that. It doesn't look greasy. The coverage is very light. It is, is definitely very, very light. Again, I don't really mind that, but I know a lot of you, that's not your preference, but it is definitely very, very light. I would equate this to like the Glossier skin tint, like that kind of level of coverage. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit more and see if we can build it up. So I'm just gonna keep applying it to this uh, same side, the right side of my face. Oh yeah, definitely buildable. I see like the redness around my nose is a little bit uh, camouflaged. I feel like the discoloration around my eyes, camouflaged, okay. So I would say this is buildable to like a light medium, from a light to a light medium with uh, two layers. All right, let me go ahead and blend in this side and add a little bit more, kind of match the coverage. I really like the finish. I really like how there's just that touch of radiance. It's not too much. Very healthy looking. Okay. Oh, and I do also have this new concealer from Clinique. This was sent over to me as well. This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And I have it in the shade CN10 Alabaster. And look how cute this packaging is. I love how it's like all rounded. And then this cap comes off and there's actually this like sponge tip applicator. So I definitely want to try that out for sure, but let's go ahead and apply some. I think this is the right shade for me. And there's like a nice doe foot applicator there. And I'm just going to start with a few dots. I want to see what the coverage is like. And I'm going to use this little eraser. Oh, that's not bad. I have to say, I don't have a lot of luck with like these built-in uh, applicators, like you know, whether they're sponges or sometimes they have those like weird jelly tips or whatever, but this one's actually pretty good. It's soft and actually spongy. I find sometimes the sponges that come with these are like hard. <laughs> this one is actually very, very soft. Oh wow, that did a really good job. And the coverage, I say the coverage is pretty good. I think you can see very clearly the difference there between these two eyes. It's a nice kind of like brightening. So if you're my skin tone, I would say the CN10 is probably a pretty good one. Ooh, all right. So far I'm impressed. It looks really nice under the eyes. Lovely. Wow, I'm really, really impressed with this sponge. This coverage is really nice. And I like the finish. It's like, skin-like. It's not completely matte, but it's not like a radiant kind of concealer. 
Oh, it's pretty. Let me take a closer look here. Wow, really, really nice. I don't think I've ever tried a concealer from Clinique, but I have been falling in love with their products lately. Like the highlighter and the bronzer, the one that had like the flower, the floral kind of embossing on it. Love those. And this is really wonderful. All right, well, nice concealer. Uh, let's move on to powder. I don't have any brand new powders or powders that I haven't used for you yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Suku Oil Rich Glow Powder, I believe is the full name. This is not a new product, it's just new to me. And I used it with the Suku Cream Foundation, and I felt like I put just like a little bit too much of this powder on. So I've been wanting to use it not with that foundation, uh, with different application methods, so I thought we would try that today. I had initially used it with the Puff, uh, but I think I'm going to use a brush because that's really how I enjoy applying powder. So I've got my Chikahoto brush, powder brush here, and just kind of pat that down. This definitely has a, a glow to it, um, and not even just from like the oils that are infused in here, there is actually almost like a, a sparkliness to it, a luminosity to it. And so I'm going to avoid putting it around my eyes because I don't really like a lot of shimmer in my powder around my eyes. Obviously in eyeshadow, it's fine, but not really in my powder. So I'm just going to put this like on my cheeks and my forehead. Actually, before I powder my nose, I'm just gonna use this concealer around my nose. I wanna see how it looks around there. This sponge is actually gonna come in really handy. Wow, it looks great around the nose too. Okay, let me go ahead and apply a little bit of this powder around my nose. I don't really wanna add that much shine <laughs> to my nose, but I do wanna set that down. Yes, I'm liking this powder a lot more with a brush versus the powder puff. The powder puff, I felt like it just, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm bad <laughs> at applying powder with a powder puff because I never do it, but I felt like I put just a little bit too much powder down. Yeah, I like this a lot more because the finish looks very, very, it's like a creamy kind of glow versus like something a little bit too shiny. This is looking a lot better than the first time I used this. So that is the Suku Oil Rich Glow Loose Powder. And I'm just gonna take the Sicily powder and just set around my eyes here just quickly. And I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm just gonna go in with my uh, Sicily bronzer and just very, very lightly apply this where I would contour just around the perimeter of my face and under my cheekbones. All right, and now on to blush. So we've got the M Cosmetics Color Serum Blush Drops, I think is what it's called. And this is in Little Lilac. And I have experience with these blushes before, and I know that they go on nicely over powder, so I didn't feel like I needed to put some down before I powdered. Uh, but I do like to tap it on then instead of swiping. So I'm going to drop some on the back of my hand here. And these blushes are very pigmented. So I'm just gonna start with one drop there. I'm gonna pick some up with my finger and just dot and then blend in. And again, I'm just doing tapping motions because I do have powder down. I do love how easily these blend in. Wow, that's a pretty color. I am liking this lilac. Feel like I still have the entire drop there. I'm gonna Go ahead and pick some more up. Ooh, I love that. It's such a different kind of like flush to the cheek. It's so cool. Let me know what you guys think of like purple toned blushes because this is, you know, while I think of purple in general as a cooler uh, tone, Obviously within purple, there's warmer purples and cooler purples. And I feel like this is kind of like right in the middle. So I'm getting like this neutral pink undertone. It's really pretty. And thinking ahead, I think this cheek color is gonna be great with these new Hermes lipsticks. I'm so excited. I've always loved this formula from M Cosmetics, but this color is amazing. Okay, do we need highlight? <laughs> I feel like when I look in the monitor, I have a lot of reflectiveness going. I think it's this Suku powder on top of like a foundation with a little bit of radiance in there. I don't think I need highlight. 
Let's move on to eyebrows. So I have the Laura Mercier um, eyebrow gel, but it is clear. So I do want to pencil in something. So I've got my Surratt um, eyebrow pencil here in the shade Raven. And I'm just gonna quickly draw in some hairs, fill in some gaps here. And now for the eyebrow gel. Ooh, this is a big spoolie for your eyebrows. Since it's clear, I guess it doesn't matter. I feel like if this was tinted, I would make such a mess <laughs> with uh, a spoolie this big. Definitely making my brows behave. Let's see how it sets down. Okay, it's been about three minutes and, oh, nice. I was afraid, you know, clear brow gels, a lot of the time, most of the time, they dry down to something fairly crispy. And this is not crispy. This is definitely like a soft, a soft gel. Ooh, nice. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so I mentioned the um, Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Pot in Pillow Talk, um, but I forgot that I got this new quad from Clarins. I received this from them through Octoly and I feel like doing a more simple look. So this is a little sparkly. Maybe I'll save this for more of an evening, <laughs> an evening look. So I'm gonna go for the Clarins, which is a really nice kind of like neutral brown quad. It has three satin shades and one matte shade. So I'm gonna start with the gold shade and I've got my Chikahoto GSN 9 brush and I'm gonna apply it to the inner corner here. All right, the shadow is kind of sparkly. So I guess I'm doing a sparkly look anyway. Oh, it's so pretty though. This is my first time using Clarins eyeshadows. And so far, so good. And no fallout. I don't see any fallout whatsoever. And now I've got my refer number one brush. I'm gonna go into this shade up here, the other shimmery shade. It's like the lighter brown one. And I'm just gonna add this to the outer corner and blend in. Ooh, that blended nicely. Blended like right into the gold really beautifully. I'm gonna take my big fluffy blending brush. This is the ESIM G34. I'm just gonna run that along the top edge here. All right, well, very good first experience with Clarins eyeshadows. I really like the way those blended together. It looks really nice. And I like that they're satin shades, but they're not too metallic. So I, yeah, it's just kind of great for like an everyday, like casual look. I'm just gonna line my eyes with the Wayne Goss Obsidian Liner. All right, I just curled my eyelashes and I'm thinking I should use mascara I haven't used in a while just to switch it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go for the Westman Atelier mascara. I got this mascara and you know, I was loving it. And then I got all of these other mascaras to try. And so I was going through all of them and I just haven't gotten a chance to go back to this. So this mascara, if I remember correctly, was definitely very volume building. And so it's definitely one of those mascaras I feel like I need to wipe the wand off. I kind of like to build up slowly. Yeah, really volumizing. All right, there's the Westman Atelier mascara on. It's really nice. I feel like it holds my curl for a while. It definitely volumizes. I don't think it necessarily adds length to my stubby pore lashes, but I think it does a really good job kind of thickening them up. Ooh, and now on to the Hermes lipsticks. I'm really excited. So I did purchase all three of the new limited edition ones from Nordstrom. There is one that's matte, uh, which is not always my go-to, and then two of them are satin. So let me try the matte one on first. This is number 54, Rose Nui, and it's the one that comes in this packaging. And here is the shade a swatch of that one. Really beautiful, like mid-tone pink. Well, as far as matte lipsticks go, so comfortable. That like just slid right on. It definitely has uh, that Hermes fragrance. It kind of smells like uh, candy. I think it's one of their very popular uh, perfumes. I don't know which one, but it's like this slight kind of like sweet uh, kind of scent. So this is Rose Nui. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and put on the next one. The next one is, I don't know. It is definitely a satin. I think this one is Rose Pomette. 
If I remember correctly, this is the one that's kind of like bright, a little bit warmer, I think, than that Rose Nui. And it is a satin finish, but I can't read the bottom because it's white lettering on this fluorescent lime. <laughs> so there is Rose Pomette. Wow, that is a really bright pink. I wonder if they meant to release these lipsticks in the spring summer, but with everything that was going on, they kind of pushed it off because these are like perfect <laughs> spring summer colors. I think to me, they are. Oh, I didn't swatch this one for you. Okay. So there is Rose Palmette, I think. And then there's Rose Nui. And this one is Rose Ombre. And this is definitely the most nude. So there is Rose Ombre and it is also a satin finish just like this Rose Palmette. Wow, very, very close to my, I think my natural lip color definitely looks like a my lips but better kind of shade. Well, there is my final look. I don't know that I would pair this eyeshadow with this blush and lipstick in the future. I don't think I look freakish or anything, but I don't think that this is the best pairing in terms of like tones and stuff. But anyway, I don't have time to redo my eyes. I'm going to go out, grab some grub on the strip. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Get ready with me. And a huge thank you to High Mirror for sponsoring this video. Check down below in my description box, you guys, for a coupon code for a percentage off of the High Mirror if you are interested in it. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.